It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube, salute. Russell Simmons has been accused of sexual assault once again. This time by a former employee at the record label he co-founded. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you have any hip hop, rap, current events, you know, you want to shoot me some information about a video I should maybe cover or talk about, please DM, DM me all the information. My IG stuff is in the description. So a woman who served as an executive at Def Jam during the 90s, sued the Mongol for sexual assault and rape filed under Jane Doe in New York federal court. The lawsuit alleges false imprisonment, battery, emotional distress, and a violation of the state's gender motivated violence law. A plaintiff claims that the Queen's native invited her to his apartment for work, though he st started wrestling with her in an attempt to appear playful soon after and then pin her down a bed aggressively. Ms. Doe repeatedly told Mr. Simmons to get off her, but he refused. Court documents state Mr. Simmons proceeded to rape her. Following that, the hip-hop businessman allegedly continued to torment his employee at the workplace despite others telling him to stop ultimately forcing her to resign in 1997. He was sitting on her desk, leaning over her aggressively, invading her personal space while making sexual um, suggestions and advances and rubbing the front of, of his pants. The paperwork reads, Mr. Simmons will follow Miss Doe to the door or block her path to prevent her from opening it again. In a statement shared with Hip Hop DX, the plaintiff's attorney, Kenya K. Davis shared as detail in the complaint, our client was sexually assaulted and harassed by her boss, Russell Simmons, while pursuing her professional ambitions as an executive at Def Jam. She was proud of her contributions um, to be working for Def Jam, but her hard work and her career in music was disrupted and derailed by Mr. Simmons, a rich and powerful celebrity whose wealth and influence allowed his abusive behavior to go unchallenged for decades. Now a successful writer producer in the entertainment industry, Jane Doe's traumatic experience with Simmons echoed through of so many other women who has preyed upon for decades. Just last year, Simmons admitted to being less than a gentleman in his past while flat out denying sexual sexually assaulting anyone, even though several women have accused him in the past. I took nine lie detector tests. People don't know that, he said in an interview. Um, nine separate, seven from the chairman of the Polygram Association, one for each in serious accusation. He added three hours per test, two by Polygram examiners, one that I've never done this to anyone in one. I never done to each individual. So people say that they're not accurate, but it's 94% accurate. I did nine of them. It's pretty clear that I don't believe it. I even asked F, well, what F? I believe it. But it's not true, he said. Your subconscious will get you. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I was told to me by the chairman of the Polygram Association. That segment began with a clip of a CBS roundtable interview with Drew Dixon, Alexia um, Norton Jones, and C.O. Lai Ambrose, three of the several women who previously accused the Fat Forum founder of sexual assault that aired back in January 2020. Um, how do I feel about this, man? I just feel like, okay, let me start with the lie detector test. Man, anybody can kind of um, jerry rig that. You can, there's ways to get around the, the lie detector test. That's why it's not really, they don't really use that too much in the court of law. 
Because so many people have, you know, they know how to control their nerves and know what to do and say to kind of get, get around that. So I'm not going to push that. Can I sit here and say that he's never sexually, assault, sexually assaulted a woman? I don't know. I'm not going to say he has or he never did that. I don't know what he's going to do. But my thing, though, is at the end of the day, it's like, I just feel this is a serious accusation. Nobody not going to lie. You know, maybe it's, can she? Maybe she's trying to get some money. Who knows? Because she's another woman coming out. But at the end of the day, it's like, you see the trend. I know we notice the trend now. There's a trend that women are coming out saying these people in position that's multimillionaires or close to being billionaires or billionaires have sexually assaulted them. They're coming out with rape. Like I said, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, they're lying. I just know that your past does catch up to you. I don't care who you are. Your past will catch up to you. I'm just letting you know. But um, we're going to find out what's going to happen. Like I said, if he didn't sexually assault this woman and he has to pay, that scams at the end of the day because that's just like a free check. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to have, you know, something over their head knowing that I didn't do that. But at the end of the day, it costs more money to probably to go to court. Because, you know, some people just let me just pay out so I don't have to worry about dealing with this because some people just drag shit along. But um, y'all let me know what you think. Post your comments below. Poke smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to that channel, I have Patreon on patreon.com slash Kobe Universe. Bitmo Cash App, PayPal, Screenlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.